Hey, how goes it? We're gonna watch a couple more replays. Uh, we'll start with Virgil. I wanna see him beat this thing. We're gonna do it a double time. It's got some better gear looking here. So it was, probably was just the gear that was making it. So, uh, he just didn't have the survivability to get through it. Because things are going to do damage to you no matter how good you play. It's just the way the game works. He handled that first fight a lot better than he had been. Alright, someone decides that they want to rev their car as they drive by my house, that's cool too. Lawn mowers and loud cars and... It doesn't help that I live, like, right across the street from some train tracks. That happens sometimes. Gotta be pretty aware when the train comes by. Like, it's not super, super loud. I don't even really notice it anymore. It doesn't, like, shake the house or anything. I mean, I'm out in the country, so I don't really worry about that stuff. But, um... Sometimes there's deer on the tracks, and it has to honk at them. So that's really loud. Just, you know, fun issues with my life. I'm recording YouTube videos. He's gotten a lot more efficient at this, which is good. I'm, uh. a lot more efficient. Nice. I'm curious if he, um like, trained specifically to beat my castle eventually. Like, not only got to know the castle, but got used to new strategies just so he could get through mine, because I've seen how many times he attacks me. And it, uh... It's not an easy castle, I'm pretty sure, based on the amount of people who come through here and die. Um... And yeah, I, I checked, I haven't lost any money in the past week just doesn't happen. Either it takes too long to get through here, or I kill people. By people, I mean everyone. Um, I like the fact that I'm killing everyone. Um, the place still, to me, seems beatable, but I also think the game's kind of unbalanced at, at this time, so it's um, still very hard to do things right. Um, it just feels like the gear and everything needs more balancing and the drop rate is increasing or something, because I don't remember the last time I got something that was above green. I've never even seen a purple. <laughs> Alright, this room is dangerous as hell to him, I know that for a fact. Nice. That was smart. He pulled it back so far that it was actually really, really useful for him to, uh... To get it away from the healer. I think my favorite way of avoiding healers and, uh... And shieldatrons is, uh, just to backpedal. Alright, there goes those things. Alright. He's still got four potions and he's in the boss room. Which is incredible. And he's pulling the bosses out of the boss room, which is a really good idea, because last time that I watched, those fire traps killed his ass. I think this boss is going to be a lot harder now that I've uh, gotten rid of that Dr. Skull. He was just kind of dead weight. Although, yet again, who knows what this patch is going to bring. And although it took him a long time, he did manage to get through. Very good. Alright, now, 
Let's see how we hold up to a mage of about the right level. I want to see if the anti-mage stuff works, and this isn't a subscriber, so we'll see how things go. As long as one of them survives, we're good, and now he knows he's in trouble. At least I hope he can figure out that he's in trouble. His damage output is not great. He's not even hitting it. There you go. We're doing real good on the first fight already. Oh wow, he breezed right through the fire. Alright, that's... What, did he already use a potion? Because he's down to two. I didn't notice if he did. I mean, he is just, like, skating right by the, uh, the damage here. Ooh, wow, that hurt. Nearly killed him. some random wizard cuffs. Take a little bit of fire damage. Oh, some plate armor. I'm pretty sure he saw the pool because he went over there for the plate armor. And he probably can just assume that it's coming. Alright, that was to be expected, but that's not the anti-mage room, this is. Let's see how he does with killing these. Um, I'm pretty sure he just healed everybody, which is interesting. Yeah, they're doing exactly as I was hoping they would. Wow, he barely survived that. How much health does he have? 57 health. That gets him back up a little bit. And that insta-killed the healer, so... Doesn't have a whole lot of health to go off of now. Oh, there's a health orb. He's barely skimming by without having to use a potion, but it's keeping him in a very dangerous level of health. If he uses a potion, it'll feel like a waste. If he doesn't use a potion, well, he has to use things to heal. Luckily, he's got that death bolt thing that heals him, which is, you know, I'd be using it as frequently as I could. You know, keep yourself topped off, be a drain tank. Uh, Jimbo seemed kind of useless there, to be honest. That was like the perfect wrong timing for that. Nope, this is gonna suck. Yep, there's another healer over there. Healer's done his job. So that's just not doing enough damage for you, dude. I'm not yawning because this is boring. I'm actually really interested to see how mages handle this. But uh, I'm yawning because the uh, fact I haven't slept in about uh, 20 hours. Ooh, took a little bit of that damage. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, we didn't get the double pull on this like we normally do, but this guy's playing really smart. Uh, unfortunately, I think this Mega Mutton is just going to destroy him. Um, considering he's got a, only a few seconds and he did take damage from that, it's going to hit him right about here. Oh, no, he dodged that one. Here it comes. Took the fire damage, skated through that, and come on. Here he comes. Oh, in the fire. Oh well. Alright, so that's how mages handle that. Um, I was expecting... I don't know, I guess I guess that did okay. Not great, but um, if you were more careful, or, you know, Mega Muttons weren't so goddamn overpowered, uh, he probably could have beaten this. Not in enough time, but still could have beaten it. Uh, not something portal. Research lab. What to research? We have a lot of points. Mm. I'm trying to predict what's going to be useful in the next patch. Like, trying to predict how patching is going to work. I'm really not certain. Uh, we use a Jimbo, so it can't hurt to upgrade him. Got plenty of things, plenty of life essence, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I don't think we use a Zeke anymore. We don't use Pete Pound more. Oh, I, I'm looking forward to this. Um, nothing I can think of is going to be super useful right now. And I'm looking forward to getting the explodifiers and stuff. Uh, Stab Assassin's going to be really useful too. We got a couple levels for that. Mm. Hmm, Stairmasters and IMAXs are both going up next. That's going to be nice. Oh. Okay. We don't have anything else to collect, do we? Nope. Um, I don't want to finish that right now. I don't really think there's too much more we can do in here. This is about as good as it's going to get. Uh, we can maybe adjust this pool a little bit. Let's play with these a tiny bit. We're going to move these guys over a little. Okay, let's still very much in the hurry to pull that. Um, and we'll put that there. So if he p goes in here, he's going to pull all this stuff. Hmm. changed anything I think we're about as good as we can be um let's see I don't really feel like attacking anyone I think this needs to change to be honest it's it's really not useful but I don't know what to put here you know um my options are somewhat limited many things that I enjoy using aren't actually useful right now. Um, I really like Mega Button, both as a design and as a... like it's useful right now. Um, I just expect it to not be useful soon. Oh, we can actually use Stab... or Stab Assassins. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just leave that as it is for the time being. Uh, they're also worth three points. It's kind of expensive. I could do it. Give her this archer. He's not serving any particular purpose. 
and then we're gonna go here and we'll grab a uh, stab assassin. Do we want to grab a stab assassin or what is this guy? Dampener. Conjures silence bubbles. Stab assassins. Blade whirlwind. Um, he doesn't attack, he just silences people. Which would probably be really annoying in this room, to be honest. I mean, they seem kind of annoying in general because they sound like a bagpipe. Yeah, I like him. That's fine. Unfortunately, just putting him in there raised our thing by a level. Oh well. So if I removed him... No, oh, no, maybe not. I'm not sure where the level raising came from. Oh well. Grab this stuff real quick. Um. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to wait for more invasions. I don't really feel like attacking anybody. Um. We'll just hold off, and in a few days, the new patch will come out. This is just gonna be a short episode, I guess. Um. Real short episode. Jeez, this episode's only gonna be like 10, 15 minutes long, something like that. But that's okay. Uh, hopefully new stuff will be happening on the new patch. Um, I'm planning on being at the uh, developer conference thing they have on Twitch. I'll be in chat talking to you guys when you show up and uh, talking to the developers if they, you know, have anything interesting that I want to ask them or any things that they want to tell me. You know, I'll be there. And, uh, yeah. So, hopefully I'll see you guys there, and, uh, I don't know, let me know what you guys are thinking about, uh, the new patch after it comes out, um, and, uh, what did you think about this previous patch, because personally I thought it was broken, I thought a lot of things just weren't working the way they should have, but, I don't know, um, I will talk to you guys next time, I suppose.